Hello, welcome to VCC Connections. I'm Bob and I'm very glad you're joining us today. And I'm going to share again some thoughts uh, of what's been rolling through my mind and some experiences I've had in the past. I'm going to start first with Proverbs 22 verse 6. It says, Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Train up the child in the way he should go. He won't depart from it when he gets old. And, you know, that really, we've seen examples of that. And one of the examples that we have seen is we periodically go out to the Rocky Mountain National Park, my wife and I. We enjoy watching the animals. We enjoy the elk rut in September. And so it's neat to really go watch them. Well, there are a couple lakes in this one part of the park called the Sheep Lakes, and it has special minerals in that uh, water that the animals come and they drink the water, eat, lick, whatever they do to get those minerals that they need. And this last time, this couple weeks ago, we were out there and when we came upon the lake, we looked around, we didn't see anything. We didn't see, we looked up, we don't see anything. So we backed out of the parking lot and started to go around to another place and everything was just stopped on the road. Why? There were two moose in this uh, lake and it was a mother moose and the baby and the baby was just jumping in the water, having great fun. And uh, when he finally stopped jumping, he was just barely above the water because he was I'm still real small and I, well, that is really really neat and because he was just following his mother and learning to do what his mother was sh showing him what to do that reminded me of another time when we came to the sheep lake and we looked over there and we started counting and there was something like nine or so bighorn sheep in and around the lake and the adults had brought the little ones and there was a whole bunch of them and we were so excited because we had not seen them there before we had seen them up on the side of the mountain and again the adults and the little ones were following and i started thinking these animals they're not telling their kids anything they're showing them what to do where to go how to eat how to uh, flee from the enemy, where to be safe. And they were training up their child in the way they should go. And I thought, wow, we need to do that more and more. And then I remembered something uh, from Deuteronomy chapter six. And it says in Deuteronomy chapter six, verse one it says, now this is the commandment the statutes and judgments which the Lord your God has commanded me to teach you that you might do them in the land where you are going over to, to possess so that you and your son and your grandson actually when I read it this time I go I don't remember reading grandson before but you and your son and your grandson might fear the Lord your God to keep all his statutes and commandments which I command you today all the days of your life and that you may your days may be prolonged. It goes on to a very familiar verse, starting in verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. This is called the Shema. These words which I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your sons, and you shall talk of them when you sit down in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up there it is again we're to be teaching our children and our grandchildren wherever we are if we're relaxing if we're working if we're playing whatever we're doing and uh, coming back from the the rocky mountains uh, my wife reminded me, you know, what one of the things we would do with our children when we'd go out for a hike, we'd say, hey, take a look at this. What do you see? What do you hear? And we would explain what we were seeing about the flowers or the animals. 
And it says here, you know, you got to learn to hear, have ears to hear. And I remember stopping one day when we were walking around a lake, I think down in Brown County, Indiana. And I said, what do you hear? And our kids like, well, I don't, you know, I don't hear anything. You know, I said, listen, what do you hear? It was the fall, the leaves had fallen. And they go, I don't hear anything. Listen, look at the ground. And on the ground and all these dry leaves, the daddy long legs, hundreds of them, were walking along the leaves. And you could actually hear them walking on the leaves. Of course, my son say, ooh, and my daughter screamed. She didn't like <laughs> spiders. But the Lord says, pay attention. Point out things. Share things with your children, with others. New believers, share what you see. Share what you hear and get them to start paying attention. And what are we trying to do? Teach them how to look to Jesus, listen to him, what is he saying, what is he doing? Which reminded me, when uh, I really got turned on to the Lord after he baptized me in the Holy Spirit and people started praying, uh, they'd have prayer lines and the leaders would be praying for people. I would go up and stand right behind the person being prayed for. You know, uh, why? Because I wanted to receive whatever was being given out. I didn't understand what was happening, but by being close proximity, by paying attention, by listening, by hearing, I was picking up something. I encourage you. You want more of the Lord? Get around someone who's doing the stuff, whatever it is. It says, I think it's in a Song of Solomon. If you don't know about the shepherds, then bed your lambs by the shepherds so they learn to hear his voice. Get around the people who are doing the stuff, who are praying. Just come in proximity. The Lord will impart what he wants to impart to them, whether they understand or not. And then one day they go, oh, I see that. I see that. We recently uh, watched one of the movies of the chosen and uh, Jesus had prayed for his friend Shula and then Barnaby by just putting his hand on them and they walked away uh, and the people thought well gee they had not uh, he had not prayed specifically but then all of a sudden Jesus kind of looked to heaven and goes ah there it is it came and my wife says that's what we have seen done over and over again all of a sudden they go there he is. People, we're, we're what? There he is. We recognize his presence. And we acknowledge that we recognize his presence. And others go, well, I don't see it. Well, then gaze, lean in, look, listen. And he will open your eyes. He will open your ears that you may likewise behold the kingdom of heaven because the kingdom of heaven is here. It's now. It is near. So I pray the Lord will bless you with new ears to hear, new eyes to see, and perceive what he is doing so that when you walk, you can share it with others. And as he shares with you, you can turn around and repeat it and share it with others because he really, really, really loves you, your children, and your grandchildren. In Jesus' name. Blessings to you all.